What's up? This is Keith Rainville here, the Fat Yankee, guys. How are ya? So you know what we're going to do today? We're going to make another beef jerky recipe, guys. So uh, so here's a, this is a different beef jerky recipe. Uh, this is called the Buffalo Beef Jerky. Now, I'm a big fan of buffalo wings. I probably eat them at least once every couple of weeks. I absolutely love them with the bone on or boneless, whatever it is. I love buffalo style flavors. Blue cheese and uh, and buffalo sauce, guys. It's uh, It's definitely... Uh, a staple in our house. So, so we're gonna make some buffalo beef jerky for you. Now, I've done this recipe several times. I absolutely love it. It's delicious. Now, the hot sauce I use in this is I'm um, very particular to. Okay, and uh, and it's one of the only hot sauces uh, you know I use in the house. Uh, so I use sriracha and other things like that. But I'm a big fan of Frank's Red Hot. Okay, uh, so here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go over these ingredients for you, my friends, and I'm gonna show you how we make this buffalo beef jerky. And it's got a nice little blue cheese uh, kicker in the back, okay? So you're gonna like this recipe. Hopefully you like it, guys. Let's go over the recipes. We're gonna use some Frank's Red Hot Wing Sauce, okay? Now I usually make this stuff from scratch when I make my wings at home. I usually just use Frank's Red Hot, little bug butter substitute, and uh, you can get the how hot you want the wings, okay? But for today, we're gonna cheat. We're gonna use Frank's already mixed wing sauce, all right, guys? We'll use some honey to give that honey buffalo flavor. We're going to use some vinegar. You know the vinegar kills the microbes, so we're going to use a little bit of vinegar in it, okay? We're going to use some garlic powder. We're going to use our cure. Kick them in soy sauce. You see it in all my videos, right? We're going to use some Himalayan sea salt. We're going to use a little spit of celery salt to give it that little celery taste in the beef jerky, right? And we're going to use something that you probably don't have at home. We're going to use some blue cheese powder to give it that nice creamy uh, hot wing flavor okay guys so we got all the flavors that you would find in a nice buffalo uh chicken wing plate okay so guys let's get these kids in the pool let's start making this stuff uh, making this stuff up and uh you know we're gonna marinate it for 48 hours i'm like a broken record right okay here we go my friends two pounds of black angus beef you know it we're gonna go with our three fourths a cup of our Frank's wing sauce, okay? So three fourths of a cup. Now this has a lot of sodium in it too, guys. So this is gonna work as a cure as well, okay? Oh, that stuff smells good too. All right, so we're gonna let this sit for 48 hours, right? We're gonna let it sit. When we get all our ingredients here, we're gonna let this sit for 48 hours. And that beef is gonna soak that wing sauce up in all these other delicious ingredients, okay? So we got our Frank's Red Hot Wing Sauce in here. We use a half a, half a cup of honey. Give it a nice honey flavor. All right. A nice sweetness to it as well. Honey's nice to put on your regular buffalo wings as well, guys. You got to try it. You got to try it. It gives it a nice sweet flavor, all right? All right, so that's our honey. We got all our honey in there. Let me just rinse this out, my friends. All right. Now we're going to use um, some rice wine vinegar. Again, this stuff helps preserve jerky. Uh, this recipe here, your jerky will uh, last about uh, about two to two to uh, let's say two and a half months around there. Okay, guys. So we're going to use some uh, rice wine vinegar. Two tablespoons of rice wine vinegar. One, two. Rice wine is a very light vinegar. It doesn't overpower. You got apple cider vinegar? You can use apple cider. Just don't, you know, go crazy with it. a couple tablespoons, okay? So now, two t uh, tablespoons of granulated garlic. Nice and easy. Let me rinse off my spoon before I go dipping that in my granulated garlic. So one of the reasons why I don't use powdered garlic is because it clumps, it clumps up too much. So whenever you're using granulated uh, garlic powder or you're using granulated onion or you know or you want to put some powder on don't use the powdered stuff always use the granulated stuff so it doesn't clump up in your recipe okay so now we've already got our our frank's red on in here that has a lot of sodium already so i'm not going to put too much soy sauce but i am going to use one half a cup of soy sauce in this recipe okay so one half a cup of soy and i don't want to overpower the buffalo flavor so one half a cup of soy sauce in here, a half a teaspoon of celery salt. Now this stuff is very strong, 
So you don't want to use too, too, too much of it, and you don't want to use a heaping. But I want to get that nice background flavor of the celery salt. All right, guys? Hey, stick with me. We just got a few more things here, all right? Seems like there's a, it goes on forever. But we're almost there, my friends. Buffalo beef jerky, guys. You got to try it. All right? So we got our celery salt in there. Then we're going to go crazy. You know crazy. I like to go crazy here sometimes. We're going to use some of our blue cheese powder, right? So for this, I'm going to use two tablespoons of blue cheese powder. All right? Now this stuff here comes in a powder. It doesn't come granulated. So this one here, you're going to have to make sure you work this in. All right? But, oh, man, it smells good. With that buffalo sauce, it smells like you just got a, a nice buffalo uh, blue cheese dressing, man. It, it smells delicious. I want to preserve this a little bit because I've got the blue cheese powder in there. So I'm going to use some Himalayan sea salt, okay? So here, I'm going to use a half a teaspoon of Himalayan sea salt. Okay, I love this stuff. This, this, is, this is nice. And it's not unhealthy for you like sodium nitrate is, okay? Always keep this around when you're doing jerky. Himalayan sea salt, okay? Gotta watch my shelf life video too and uh, tell you all about soy sauce, uh, Himalayan sea salt, and, uh, and the other stuff, that uh, sodium nitrate. So you gotta watch that video as well. Okay guys, we got everything here in the pool. Buffalo beef jerky. Look at all those colors, my friends. I'm gonna mix this up right now. All right? When you get right in here, oh, it's, it's guys, if you, I wish this was smell-o-vision. This stuff is good, okay? So, my friends, I always say this in the videos because I don't know who comes on and just watches one of my videos and, and you know, and shuts down the channel. But I always say, we marinate this for 24 hours, I'm sorry, 48 hours, we hand toss it after 24. Marinate this stuff for 48 hours. Hand toss it after 24. Now people always say to me, they say, Oh, I don't see the difference when I marinate it for 48 hours. Baloney. When you marinate something, the longer you marinate it, the more the flavor gets infused in it, okay? If you got one of those fancy vacuum, uh, you know, tumblers that infuse the flavor into the jerky, well then that's, that's something different, okay? So those things work real well too. So this is gonna be marinated again. Nice flavor, I can smell that, that buffalo sauce and the blue cheese and the celery all in here together. Buffalo beef jerky, guys. Let me rinse my hands. Oh man, I can't wait to get into this one. This is good stuff. Buffalo beef jerky, guys, that you made in your own kitchen, guys. Put it on a smoker, put it on the dehydrator, cook it in your oven, guys. This is the Fat Yankee, my friends. As always, thanks for watching us, okay? Leave your comments below, like the video. Hey, subscribe to the channel, right? What's the worst that can happen? You get a lot of good beef jerky recipes, right? Thanks for watching, my friends. Take care.